Hi, I'm Dr. John Caffrey and I head up the invasive species section within Inland Fisheries Ireland. I'm here on this mid-July day on the banks of the River Tolka in Dublin City and accompanied in this location by a very statuesque but a highly dangerous plant called Giant Hogweed. Giant for obvious reasons. The Latin name for this plant is Heraclium mantegazanium and this is a highly dangerous plant hence wearing gloves and perhaps I should be wearing more protective clothes but I do understand the plant and I do understand the dangers associated with it. The reason it is so dangerous is that this plant produces copious quantities of clear sap. These come from the stems they come from the leaves. Any part of the plant is capable of producing this sap. And this sap, when it gets onto the skin, particularly in the presence of bright sunlight, will cause severe blistering. This is very painful occurrence, but more importantly, it can be permanent. So while the damage will repair after a week or a few weeks, subsequent exposure to bright sunlight a year later even a number of years later will cause se severe irritation so this is a highly dangerous plant and i certainly wouldn't recommend that you would get too close to it from an ecological point of view it also has adverse implications you can see it has very large leaves these where it forms dense stands as along a riverbank will block light getting to our native herbs by blocking the light, it will eliminate, it will outcompete these native herbs. These native herbs are very important in maintaining one biodiversity, but also the stability of our bank soils. So when they are removed, and when this plant dies back as it does in winter, the bank will be exposed to a rose of floods. And as a consequence of this plant, you can get serious subsidence of banks. So, it's a human health hazard, it causes biodiversity loss, but it can also destabilize bank sites. While it's a very impressive plant and a very distinguished plant, there are certain features that will help identify it from closely related species, although there is no other species that will grow this tall. I'll now show you some of the features. Moving over to a slightly smaller specimen. It's interesting that this is Ireland's largest herb. To get all technical on you, it's referred to as a, a monocarpic perennial. It's monocarpic in that it seeds just once in its life cycle. The plant lives for three to four years, after which it produces seeds, you can see them here, and it dies. So once this plant has produced seeds, it dies. So that's monocarpic, perennial in that it will live for a number of years. Our studies reveal that rarely does the plant live for more than four years. The leaves of the plant, and again, I, please, I do not recommend anyone to take leaves as I have. I have gloves on, and these are specially treated gloves. The leaves are very, very large. They will go to easily two and a half to three meters. Unlike other hogweed species, and there are a number of native hogweed species, the leaves are highly divided, but also when you look closely, you can see that the leaf edges are serrated. So very, very large leaves. And while this plant is now dying back, us being towards the back end of July, it normally has a very, very lush green appearance. The stems are also quite characteristic. The stems, again, when you look closely, please do not touch. They're very coarsely ridged. They're probably, they're hollow and probably up to 10 centimeters in diameter. Also, very, very characteristic for giant hogweed is the red or purple blotching. So if you look at the stem, you will see that there is a considerable red or purple appearance to it. 
as you move down the plant, it can become a continuous red. But this is a reasonably characteristic feature. In its third or fourth year, the plant grows from a plant that just produces stems and leaves to one that produces flowers. This is when it achieves its great height. And as I said, it will grow to four, and some people have seen it up to five meters in height. This is an enormously large plant. The first seed head, or the terminal umbel, referred to as an umbel because the flower head is umbrella shaped, produces very large numbers of seeds. We then get what they call satellite umbels. So in total, a mature giant hogweed plant can produce up to 50,000 viable seeds. These are generally spread pretty close to the permanent plant, unless the plant is interfered with, or the soil is moved to another location, or the seeds fall into a river and are brought downstream. The plant is an invasive species. It was introduced in the late 1800s by estate owners who, travelling through Europe, the Caucasus in this case, the Caucasus Mountains, were very impressed by the very large size and statuesque appearance of this plant, decided that they must have it in their estates or in their domains. Seeds were brought into Ireland, they grew in certain areas, and one estate owner gave it to another who was impressed, hence the spread of the plant. And it's really only in the late 70s that this plant gained prominence. We're not sure exactly why, but there was a, a tiny shift in temperature, but the plant began to expand its range, particularly along river courses. And regrettably, it is now a serious problem in many river catchments in Ireland. You must remember, this is a highly hazardous plant. You should not go near it, but it is important to understand its diagnostic features.